Hey everybody, I am Nanomango, and welcome to Little Inferno. Now, I have taken a two-week break, about two weeks, it maybe a little bit more, a little bit less, from uploading, and that's because I'm in the new apartment, I'm super excited about that, I'm back, and I've played Little Inferno before, and I love this game, it's a really great free time sort of game, it is not going to be a video where I play through the game and get to the bottom of the story and stuff, because I already know the story practically by heart, I absolutely love this game, and I just wanted to play this game while I talk to you guys, and, and hang out, and obviously play Little Inferno. So this is a loose sequel to the game World of Goo. It's more like a separate game with similar characters and probably the same universe. So, again, Little Inferno. I played it on my Undying Blaze channel. Normally I'd say, oh yeah, go watch it there, but I personally just watched some of those videos. Don't. Don't go watch them. They're so bad. Oh my goodness. It's just, I had zero experience when I went into that. So, okay. So the basis of this game, if you don't already know, is you just light stuff on fire. So you touch and hold anywhere to make a fire. And that's it. I mean, there's more to that, but see? You light that on fire, and it burns up. Anything in this fireplace will burn. And it's absolutely beautiful. So first of all, let's look at the terms and conditions. Uh, let's see. No, thanks. Uh, most of it's redacted anyway, looks like. So doesn't matter. Now normally I would read through these if you're really really curious you can pause the video and get some story out of this but personally I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn all of the things it's gonna be great and you click on the coins to get money as you can see here I'm just buying the things that I can use to burn and get more coins and that's really the basis of most of this game is you just wait a little bit you can use your your thing and I personally just try to keep the fire going but that you don't have to. Oh, spider, there we go. Let's get a little bit more money. There we go. And so we've got five coins, uh, you can see, because we just picked up the, uh, the bug coins, so let's light these on fire. The purpose of buying these separate things is that everything burns differently, I guess. And so these blocks burn like blocks would, but then the corn is freaking hilarious because it all, it all just pops and it's great. It's been a long time since I've made a video, so it'll it'll probably take a little bit uh, to, to really get back in the rhythm of things. By the way, I just want to say thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I have been waiting for this for a long time. I know that it peaked at 100 for a little bit and then it went down to 98 uh, this last week. And so I knew that it would probably happen something like that. So I didn't really want to make a 100 subscriber special until I really stuck at 100. And I'm at 101. So uh, usually my subscriber count will go up and down between a couple subscribers every time it seems to stay at a number. So uh, now that I'm here, I'm excited. I know that I was supposed to have a 100 subscriber special up, but I haven't really had access to my computer. I'm going to be collaborating with Etobio. He does my music and it's going to be great. Get out of here, you stupid little spider. I hate spiders in real life, so it it is definitely a joy to freaking destroy them here. One of the big entertaining things about this game is the way that different things burn. And, oh, sorry, I got, <laughs> please dispose of some of your belongings before ordering more. Well, thanks. This game, it seems really nice and lighthearted and stuff, and you're just burning stuff just for fun, it seems, uh, until you realize that this game has a much darker uh, plot to it, and you're actually burning all of your possessions just to keep warm because of the storm that's going on outside, and you find out that the storm is actually caused by spoilers You've got to basically just keep keep burning stuff just because it's pretty instead of um, to survive. And that's basically where you're at at this point in the game. And you just burn everything. And it's wonderful. And I love it so much. Oh, this is a flamethrower. Let's, let's do that. Let's do the thing. There we go. Burn everything. There we go. And you can, like, carry this around and burn stuff with it, too. So, oh, it, wa it wasn't me. So... I just ordered something on this. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. Okay, so so you just burn pictures and you can burn these flower seeds which spawn flowers and stuff, but but my favorite thing, is this fireflies? You can put your own picture in it. So I found my my battle my first battlefield video 
Uh, it, it's beautiful. By the way, I 100% need to play Battlefield 1, and I'm going to very soon. Whoops. I, I accidentally broke it. I broke the jar. I didn't I didn't mean to. Okay, so let's let's just burn this picture. Let's do it. It's beautiful. And now I look like I'm actually afraid of something. Oh gosh. This image is going to be a little bit meta almost. So, there's three games that are designed by the Tomorrow Corpor Corporation, formerly known as 2D Boy, as far as I know. I think that that's what happened. This picture <laughs> is of the next game in the series, which goes World of Goo, Little Inferno, and then Human Resource Machine. And so, uh, they hadn't made the game Human Resource Machine when Little Inferno was out, so it's kind of cool to have this picture here, which is a picture of me uh, for my thumbnail of my very first Human Resource Machine video, and it's beautiful. Also, this is a spider egg, I think? So let's burn this, and burn this spider egg. It's beautiful. Okay, that there there we go. Gross. Um it's something. Oh, holy m You know when I was talking about meta earlier, when I was referring to the the future game within this game, uh yeah, I got a little bit more meta. Holy crap. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's just go ahead and burn this TV now. We've got a lot of money, but what we need now is Combos. We need a lot more combos. Uh, so, bike pirate combo is one we got by accident, but someone else's combo, springtime combo uh, generation. So, let's go to the springtime combo, which was, I believe, the seed packet and the clock. Okay, and then someone else's combo would be someone else's, what, picture? Yeah, family portrait, credit card. I think that was it, because there's only two. Okay, here we go. Credit card, there we go, and whoops, that's my picture. Someone else's portrait. And I only have four slots right now, you can expand it. Let's stack this and this and this, and now the credit card will light everything on fire because it shoots money out, and all the money will light the other money, and it'll be great. There we go, someone else's combo, and now springtime. There we go, it's beautiful. Oh man. This, this game makes me happy for so many reasons. First of all, uh, it makes me happy because you get to burn stuff. But second of all, it just has this this sense of humor. and It's a very self-aware game, and I love that about games. Uh, games such as World of Goo and uh, Human Resource Machine and Little Inferno, which are all by the same developer, they all have a very consistent feel to them and they they really seem like they're all part of the same universe so here we go let's just keep burning stuff knowing that doesn't matter whoop okay we just okay <laughs> dang I forgot that the boat exploded and so that actually kind of surprised me a little bit and oh crap I put the snake upside down I think it's it might shoot vertically oh never mind yeah there we go oh it's, there's not a snake in there, it's, uh, it's drugs. One of my favorite things that I've ever done in this game, uh, for YouTube, was filling up the entire fireplace with the someone else's credit card item, and just burning it, burning it all. So I'm gonna do some, oops, sorry, yeah, I got a little bit too excited. Uh, I'm going to do something similar. Alright, now, we'll burn it right in the middle, watch this. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Ah! <laughs> it just fills the entire thing with fire. And it's one of the fastest burning items in the game. So you really, you don't have much left over. You have this little bit of charcoal uh, from the card. And then you get all your money in return and, and more. Let's go ahead and buy this extra space. Oh, I remember what these stamps are. So these stamps are express shipping stamps. Okay, so now, now you guys know. Because I certainly didn't. Okay. So let's, let's have the fan here. Okay, so the fan will heat itself up and the heart will absorb flames. Yeah, so, and then this guy will light on fire because of the absorbed flames. And there we go. Oh, snap. See, this looks, uh, double fan combo and everything. Wow. That looked amazing. 
That is one of my favorite things, though, is the double fan combo. I love the physics of the fire and the burning objects in this game because it really feels like you're actually burning things, and that's not a very common thing in a lot of games. Uh, think, of, think to your favorite video game if there's fire in it. Can you think of a time uh, where the fire just felt, not like stepping into it would burn you, but where it felt like the fire was really burning something that it was on and once it was done it was done and the thing was burned uh, but it, from start to finish it felt like it was a process I can't think of any games other than this one and I know that there are games like that out there it's just that I can't think of them but still that's impressive to say that you know they have that ability to make this so real feeling let's use this stamp so that it's done right away I don't need many stamps Okay, here we go. Let's do this fan, and then let's do this fan. Now watch. Watch how cool this looks, you guys. Are you ready? It's gonna glitch. And now watch. All of the fire goes right into this fan. And same with that spider. Okay. But look at that. Look at this. It just... It's a little vortex of fire. And I love it so much. And I think that the heart heats up until it catches on fire because of this fire. Which is, yep, it caught on fire, it looks like. And then both of them will stop. Well, okay, the first fan already is dead. It's long gone. But this little vortex of fire from this heart. See, if I take it away. Oh, see, I take it away and then the vortex stops. Okay, I see how it is. Let's uh, do the Uncle Sam thing. There we go. And then this weird little leprechaun dude. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so, anyway. Um... Yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with the channel. I know that it was the real the real bummer was that the whole disappearance of Nano Mango for two weeks was really unannounced, and it's not. Uh, I'm not disappointed in anyone but myself. I should have, you know, said something. Really, just uh, partway through, I know I said I won't make a video until I get my internet up, or I said something along those lines, uh, but. I should have just definitely let you guys know that the internet wasn't the only thing. I thought that I was going to have a desk and stuff earlier. However, I uh, really had to just buy this table that I'm using now as a last resort. And that's what I'm going to be using from now on. It's got plenty of space, so I'm really happy with it. But anyway, I will do a setup video sometime in the future. I don't want to do it right away. I want to get some gameplay out. Uh, my next uh, ideas are Battlefield 1 and hopefully some other newer games and just along with the series that I have been continuing, uh, specifically Medieval Engineers, I really want to be able to build that uh, fortress really well as well as eventually trying playing online and with planets and stuff because I know that just came out and I'm really excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know if you're bothered by that spider, there you go. Oh, freak another spider. If you liked it, please do leave a like, and I will see all of you guys in the next one. Goodbye! I'm an idiot. F was the pickup button. I'm a fool. Oh, man. E was the freaking... F is the use and interact button, and E is the pickup item button. Oh, man.